Hello there, it's Tonya from Tatty Treasures and this is my weekly vlog and it's Monday, the beginning of a new week and a new month. So it's Monday the 1st of February today. Um, I hope that you enjoyed um, the video, well you won't obviously be able to watch this video till next Sunday so I hope that you enjoyed the video of me doing the um, more like a reflection, reflective kind of um, writing um, in a bullet kind of sense, just looking back on the positives of the month. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that because I'm looking forward to, to doing another and obviously I'm going to start making some, some notes at <laughs> the end of the month. Um, I can remember what I want to in, include. So I don't think I've got these rings on right. I, th I think the tag should go in the front of there and the one, I don't know. Um, anyway, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that because <clears throat> I enjoyed making it and I enjoyed um, thinking about the month and like I say when <clears throat> when I um, didn't feel very well at the end of the month and and stuff it, it did make me um, you know think about the the positive things that I wrote so it helped me so as you know by now it is May or Monday <laughs> I will get a drum or a little um ding, 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 you know one of those things um a xylophone that's it so I, I had a little cheeky order with um, an online shop called fruit pixie um I'd not heard of it before and um Alison from um crafty Ali creates had I think she's used them a few times and I, I think I've heard her mention them before but I've not really took it in because she mentioned Fruit Pixie and yeah it just didn't <laughs> sink in that it was um, a craft supply um, shop so um, yeah I thought oh I'll have a look because she got some really cute just little things um, <clears throat> so I got some tag bases um, and these really do come in handy. I mean, even just making yourself some up and, and having some spare. Um, and they do come, come in handy for, for quick bases. And if you like Alison, doing some um, mixed media on them. So I had those. I think they're their large uh, ones and they're a nice, nice size. Um, they was a pound. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, a pound. Um, they have got a pound section on there and they've got a clearance section on there. So, sorry if there's any glare. I think this was ten pence. Um, it was in the clear out section. Isn't something I would really buy, but I did, I love irises. Obviously, I'm not a great fan of the silver bit, but I thought this would come in handy for something. And for ten pence, why not? <laughs> why not um i bought a couple of they sell book pages in just little packs of ten they're a pound each i've got no um foreign writing um book pages so i thought um i will you know use these sparingly in collage and, and things um so yeah they'll last me a while i'm not going to go go crazy <laughs> with them um so yeah better than me buying a whole book um and for two pounds i've got 20 sheets and and they will last me a long time um i had these frames i think these was a pound or something um and these are from crafty individuals so I don't know what kind of thickness. Ooh, I'd say it's 180, 200 GSM. But how handy just to have some some windows. Um, you know, I can ink over them. Um, I can collage over them. And I'm sure I can pop them on some projects. And they'll, they'll come in handy. Again, I do think they was in the pan section. 
Um, they also had some Tyvek tags. Um, I mean, and Tyvek is really expensive. I do own some Tyvek envelopes, but I obviously don't want to start cutting into them to, to make some tags. Um, so I thought these would be really good uh, doing a bit of botanical collage on them. And I love um, the, the toppers, what they've used. Um, so, yeah, I think there was 10 for a pound. So I had two lots of, of those. So I'm looking forward to using those. Um, I've never quite been in a shop like that. Well, it's just, you know, bits and bobs. Um, they got playing cards. I can't remember how many you got. Um, I've not had a look at them yet. And they have different ones, and I chose the wild flower ones. So one, two, three, four, five. Five for a pound. So I think they're really cool because I've never stumbled across any of these in charity shops or anything. Um. And I did try and get my hands on, uh, I know they do some Edith Holden playing cards, uh, but the price, um, it was way too high. In fact, that reminds me, um, I've never, normally if I spot something, I will, you know, once a week do a quick um, look to see if there is any. That's one of my favourites. And the dog rose and primrose. Oh, it's cows, so they're very, they're from the same family, aren't they? Um, yeah, I normally do, 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 do a look, um, and watch prices and stuff. So I must, um, I must remember that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to probably put those in my, um, things already made up. I don't think I would alter these. I think I would only do, I've never done altered cards, um, but I think I would only do them if they didn't have anything on them. But I think the backs are nice. Um, and I think they're just nice to pop in things, aren't they? So what else did I have? Um, like I said, I spent £20 and it was free, free delivery. So these were some little transport tokens. I think you've got four in them. Yeah, four. And... You know, just really quirky, unusual things, which I'm sure um, sometimes you just want the right thing, don't you? And they could end up being the right thing for something at some point. So I will put that in my um, tub of things to, to decorate. And I had, they do sell some sheets of paper these was in the clearance um i don't know really why i chose that one um i was thinking for collage i do like blue paper uh, especially when i'm doing birds i chose that for for that side and, <clears throat> and then i just had a couple of pieces of craft paper one with numbers and one with a pattern but yeah i, I don't know if they was like 50 pence each um so i thought <laughs> why not why not indeed so i'll just pop those up there with my other papers and i had two six by six of the uh craft consortium pads um so hackney and co um so i've had the wildflower meadow they're absolutely beautiful oh that's coming coming to bed um, and I thought I'd be able to use these for, oh, there was £5 each. So you've got some cut parts at the front. Um, yeah, I thought they'd be great for tag bases or pockets and things like that because I don't actually own any 6x6. Six um, so I'd probably cut those out and back them, which is a shame because I really do like that paper. So I would have to probably think about if I would, do that or not so that's a really beautiful one as well beautiful dragonflies that's very similar to uh, one in Gardenia but 
uh, the hairs. I've seen Gail use that one. Gail Tuttle. I like the back of it as well. I mean, that would make one of those lovely um, slide pockets. And you've got a pocket. <laughs> Love this one. Again, that's not... Is that the same as the other? It's very similar, if not. No, it isn't the same. Very, very similar. Yeah, and they've done that with the tags at the back. The, the best ones, well, to me, the best ones, um, they've done done those. Um, those ones, I really like that one. I'm not so keen on the one with the uh, bugs on, so... Um, but yeah, I thought, I know a lot of people are, oh, I've got all these six by sixes, what am I going to do with them? But I think, um, when you haven't got any, I think they're very, very handy for pockets and, and tag bases. That's a very nice one. So that's that. And then I had the herb one. Um, and I think I'm going to have the 12 by 12 in this. So I think I'm going to save this for uh, when I've got the 12 by 12 because I'm thinking they'd be nice for uh, pages in journals and do like pocket pages and stuff with the 12 by 12. And then obviously I could make small pockets and things with the, with the small book. So I have looked through them several times to... Because I don't want a 12 by 12 in, in both of them. Um, and I think this one just pips the pips the post. But it's a shame because these t those two in there what I really do like. And it would have been nice to have those in, in big. I really like that one. And so I'm not a fan of the scissors. Or the teacups, but I like the I like the back. So there wasn't none in here, which I didn't uh, like, because I like the writing in that. So yeah, I think I'm going to have the 12 by 12. So I will put this one away, but um, the other one, I will use that in, in the botanical series. That's very nice. Beautiful. So that's that. Um, so yeah, all that for twenty pounds, and like I say, free delivery. Um, they do sell the twelve by twelve pad, and I think it's actually a pound or two cheaper than it is on Amazon. Um, and I do think it if you spend fifteen pound, you get free delivery. So I would probably spend twenty again, just to have a five as worth a, a bits and bits and bobs. So these will be lovely because I don't have a lot of bits and bobs. Um, so yeah, that's that's that. I need to find homes for them. Um, I a bit was looking for some beads. If um, you saw the leaf cluster things that um, I made following um, a Susan Taylor Brown tutorial, and then I used those on the front of um, covers on the Roxy Challenge, and I really fancied sewing some uh, beads and things with them. So um, somebody was like doing a, a D stash, and. I think I bought all these for a fiver. Um, I don't know how much they'd have cost me individual. But uh, yeah, they're all in like ambers and, and browns. I perhaps would have liked some green ones, but I feel like I shouldn't really be buying any more because, you know, there, there's a million here, isn't there? I'm never, ever going to use all these. I don't know if I'd use the bigger one, not for what I've got got in mind, but you know, I might go on and do um some tassels and, and things. Um very nice. But yeah, it was like the little seed beads that um I really wanted. So yeah, there's there's lots. So what I will do, I like that because it's got all little the little um I forget what those are called. So I shall get myself some little pots and, and put these put these in. So that was those. 
um, so they will turn up in. Oh dear, yeah, definitely need to get a pot. Um, and like I say, they was just from a random seller on on eBay. Um, and I first I actually ordered these sequins, and I thought, oh, those sequins would look lovely. Um, sewn sewn onto some clusters. Um, I've never tried to sew sequins on or anything so yeah that's going to be new but they are lovely like antique copper colour um so yeah they're very tiny um I might have to get a, I was going to say a microphone oh as if I need a microphone my goodness me um a magnifying thing because yeah they're very small same as the seed beads and I think from the same shop they'd got this beautiful trim and again I thought how beautiful is, is this to go on clusters and, and things like that. So these was from a, a eBay shop but I thought that was really really pretty. So yeah I need to find homes and from the same shop I got this this ribbon because I do like this is um you know tag tops I think it's quite nice so that is that and um you'll have seen that I've had some patches before from this oh, I can't pronounce the Etsy shop's name it begins with us if you do want to know I, I can uh, put the thingy in the description and she just sells like little patches of of things um i had when we did the woodland wonders um i had some from her um and they're just really cute i'm gonna say they look nice on on the fronts of things i say it's like a it's like a bit like curtain material but i mean i can't ever imagine that somebody would have had some curtains like that but um yeah very very pretty i should put those in my tin of patches and i'd been looking for some material because um i don't really own any material and i didn't want to buy you know lots of this that and the other and there was a lady who was selling um these pieces i don't know if that's a fat quarter so there was this lovely one, um, this one which is beautiful but I can't ever imagine me ever using it um, and it is, in fact, I might send that to Wendy, Jump um, Journal Adventures, yes I will, because um, she did order from the shop so I've got, I've got her address you know. <laughs> Um, this beautiful one look at the colors in this so I don't know if to save them I think that would make a lovely um, cover not so much that um, love this well I love all of them I'm gonna say I do love the cat but I just couldn't see me using it this one which looks a bit autumnal and this one so yeah, I don't see. I think I would use that as a cover. Don't think I'd use that as a cover or those. So I might use those to make fabric things with and use those for for covers. So I got these for four pounds, um, and then I think it was a pound something delivery. So I will be keeping, I don't know if it was just a one-off, she'd got about 10 different lots of materials on. Um, so I don't know if she does it all the time or, you know, if she was just de-stashing or whatever, but very good value. So I feel like I've got lots and lots of things, but I have not really spent um, a, lot of, a lot of money. So I've got one happy mail and it made me laugh. Isn't it so lovely to get mail and what says Tatty Treasure on it and really made me smile. <laughs> um, so 
these are from a lady who emailed me and asked if she could send me something she says that she'd been making um things and she wanted to know if if i wanted to to use them so let's have a look trying not to not to rip the mushroom I think I've got it. So let's have a look. Oh, what are these? Oh, these look super cute. Oh, she's pretty. Oh, well done. Oh, <laughs> oh, they're like a nest of <laughs> those. They are so cute. Oh, right. That's a really, really good idea. Oh, I like that. I love that paper. So, yeah, you could actually stick that part down in in your journal and you could have that as a, as a tuck behind. Um, that's obviously held in and then you can take that out you can journal on there and then you've also got got these oh I love that idea that's wonderful oh thank you I've never seen that <laughs> that's so cute are they all the same then oh this is a nice little envelope I've had this paper this is be happy paper <laughs> I love them. They remind me of like the Russian dolls. Um, I love Russian dolls. Well, I used to love Russian dolls as a child. I still love them. I'm just not bumped into any. Um, but yeah, my friend used to have, have a set of them and I was quite amazed by it. And this is three minutes. <laughs> There's something about just keep repeatedly opening something it's quite mesmerizing oh thank you so much that's so sweet oh yeah I, I shall definitely um have a go at these as well and I will put these um later on in the year I have been collecting all the things that that people have sent like this and I will be putting them in in my own journal plus you know any cards and things that that i've received so thank you very much lynn um i really appreciate those um so yeah i've got this from uh what carol sent me and i've been keeping all the things that people have have sent and they've made in here so um when i do my journal they're all all in there ready for for decorating but i'm starting to burst out of here so it might be a uh, time to to start doing it so i'd bought this little um journal um i think it's from the bookery um really reasonable and it's just a mixture of of papers um red house bindery um yeah just a mix of papers and i thought how nice would would that be um to to put all the things that that people have sent me um but i, I really love this because i wouldn't be able to make something random like this um love that paper because I do like everything to match but um yeah I I love seeing when people do work on these pages what are all so so different and in this one I've been saving all all the cards and and tags and that that people have, have sent me um so they will be I'll be able to go go in here uh, I'd originally bought a small one but um yeah then i thought i don't think 
a lot's going to fit in there so um, I might end up spilling that into into both of them so I shall do that later later in the in the year when I've got got a spare spot so what am I up to this week how long have I been 25 minutes um I should probably only film the vlog again twice this this week because I just talk too much don't I to do it any more than twice so what am I doing this week well this week Ryan is off work um he's just got a week's annual leave so um I'm gonna try well I'm not gonna try and not be in here so much um but I'm going to be not in here so much this week um because I've been rubbish with cleaning and cooking and you know just everyday types of things so I think I'm just gonna have a week of like normal you know just tea at five bed at ten um I'm saying all this but if it will happen or not I don't know because I just cannot keep away from being in here because <laughs> I just I just love it it's just my my little space and I can be in my my own little world and yeah I just really enjoy it so last week I was supposed to finish off the Tim Holtz and yeah I wouldn't say I've been poorly but I have um it, it's been a bit of a weird one um so I've not really been in the mood for doing anything with lots of you know thought and and things so i've just been doing little projects um all week i'm slowly filling this made ephemera so in here is everything that i've made in the dd farrago um challenge what's happening now you probably won't have seen these yet um some of the ones from the Roxy Creations um challenge and I think these are things what we made last year when I got the stickers and that from In Love Arts. So they went in here and I've been going through like digitals and things and this is part of the botanical series what will come up um later and we like looking at kits um especially the more plain you know the brown things and and stuff and and getting them ready to to use so you can pull them out and and use them so um i've just filmed this one um which again is using kit stuff and making it into into something what's what's you know usable this has been in my stash it goes that way um about a year i have used them plain before but i was saying as i was filming it that um you know if i'm say in the middle of making something a journal or you know a file folder um and i want a postcard and then I've got to stop and decorate something. It it just throws me. So I'm going to try and everything that I've got printed out, um, make it that it's ready just to pull out. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing this week. And um, still been making embellishments. I don't know how much of the series you'll have seen of that. Um, so these are all ready and i've separated the things into so this is stuff that's all printed off um these are all plain things so you know all these want some kind of decoration on so i obviously won't film me doing every single thing but um yeah everything needs to go from here into into that one and then i know that it's it's ready to go some of them might just want back in um but i was also saying that even you know the tags what are done i'd like to get all the eyelets in and the strings in and all the rest of it so you've not got to stop 
and get all those things out while you're actually making something bigger get everything inked up ready and and stuff like that so yeah i'm just working my way through through me stuff um and then i'm going to start looking at what packaging i've been saving and what what can we make with that um so this and the other one will be you know totally full of stuff ready to to start using um so that's that that's what i've been doing and i think um with ryan being off next week and i still don't feel 100 percent. i should probably just carry on um just doing little bits and um the lady who was interested in the tim Oates, i have messaged her and i've said that i don't feel too great and as soon as i've made him i'll send her the photos um and she can decide which which one she wants which obviously she's perfectly fine fine about uh, but that had been playing on my mind because um you know i didn't want to wait in um and stuff so so yeah that's that um so i'm just gonna plod on next week i know i'm off work next week and i know i'm definitely off work the week after because i've looked at the rotors not sure what will happen the week after that but i'm thinking if i have a bit of an easy week um next week um i might be feeling a little bit better but oh, it's been so cold here um so in here i've been putting either things that i've made what want decorating um in here so i shall put the the tie back ones in here as well because um i do want to decorate those up so yeah just a lot of faffing about that's what i've been doing really <laughs> um yeah so i hope you're all okay um thank you for joining me thank you for watching and let me know what you're up to um what's the weather like how are you are you working on any projects have you just finished one are you joining in with any of my projects um yeah let me know because you know that i do love to love to have a chat so i'm going i shall probably film again uh, mid midweek and i shall give you an update to where i am and what i'm doing but for now i'm just going to put everything away and then i've done for today so see you soon bye good morning it's tuesday and i've got some trash so i will just sit and get this all trimmed up while we have um a chat so I want to thank everyone for asking how I am. Oh gosh, <laughs> um, that's a bit tough. Yeah, I'm. I'm not as bad as I was. I'm still not hundred percent, but um, yeah, I just think it's the cold. To be honest, um, I've not actually had a proper fibro flare up. Um, I've just not felt great. I had that cold um, two weeks ago. <coughs> um, it wasn't really a cold. It was just a little bit of a cold. It wasn't like, you know, I was really poorly. But, um, yeah, I've just felt quite lethargic um, since. And um, the cold is really ramped up um the pain levels um don't know why it does because like i've said in comments to people and that it's not like um i'm out and about in it um you know i'm only going out once a week at the moment because i've not been called into into work so you know i'm not even going out <coughs> for work so yeah, I'm going out once a week to do the shopping and the post office and that is it. So, yeah, it's not like I'm walking about in, in the cold. Um, I'm going to keep the back book because I'm unsure um, what to do with it. Because a lot of these I have cut off quite small. Um, but 
might be able to make it into a flip. I know I've ripped it there, but I should be able to, to mend that. Um, so, yeah, it's as if your body just knows that it's cold. Um, cause, I mean, we've had heating on constantly. But then <clears throat> I don't think, you know, having heating on all the time is, is great yet because you don't all feel like dried up and stuff. Um, how can I open this? I might have to... Oh, it's there. I thought I'd save this because um, it's like a greyy black. It's um, like a, a present that Ryan had had for, for Christmas. Um, so I thought it was a nice, a nice colour. Oh yeah, I like that. Um, yeah, so I don't think having heating on helps, that dries you up and stuff, but yeah, my muscles and, and bones have just been really, really sore, um, and I was saying to Julie, it's as if I'm cold, but I'm not cold, but I'm like cold inside, um, you know, like deep inside, so it's just... You know, it's just living with with chronic illness. Um, it's you know part and part and parcel of it. It's just um, quite frustrating. Um, and yeah, I've only really been managing off days in here, um, which again is is frustrating because you know obviously I'm off work. Um, with the lockdown um so you know really it's perfect time for me to put all my time into you know getting in front with videos getting things made getting things in my Etsy shop um why I've got the time so but obviously you know I have had to have to rest and and yeah you know that's fine but it is it is frustrating I just say, oh, I could be doing this and that and the other, but um, yeah. So <clears throat> I think I've done like half and half. So I am getting better at, at saying, you know, come on, Tanya, you've got to got to rest. You can tell I eat a lot of cereal bars, can't you? <laughs> if I didn't eat cereal bars, I probably wouldn't eat breakfast. Um, I'm quite lazy with breakfast comes in i'm not one of those people who get up and need to eat breakfast i'm up for a couple of hours and then i'm starving and it's like oh my goodness i need to eat so my breakfast is, is normally a cereal bar and a banana so yeah i'm going to leave those full just to give me a little bit of um choice of what to what to do these are very nice um it's been nice um being able to have cheetahs with being gluten free we've had these a couple of times now um yeah i really really like them Oof. gosh it's, it's tough cardboard as fast as i'm putting this cardboard up i am actually using it um yeah, I keep going for it instead of going for my fresh, you know, card. Because, um, well, I've said a few times, like, prices have gone up on everything. So I'm thinking if I only really use my A4 card for printing on and try and use scraps um, for backing, it's going to save me... Um, you know going through so much card so i shall get those hooked up and just having them right next to my um desk is making it very easy for me to remember that it's there and to get it used and obviously if this pile gets too thick it's going to start falling down off my notice board and stuff so it will you know it reminds me get it used so that's hung up there 
I'm going to put this black one um, somewhere else because I do think um, it will come in handy when, whenever I'm doing something that needs some black cards. So I'm going to put that in my um, card folder. So that's that. And then the cereal bars won't go in my other folder, which is absolutely bursting to the seams. So we will be very shortly doing stuff with packaging. So if you want to join along, make sure you're starting to, to keep your packaging. Um, definitely stuff with windows. Going to go window crazy soon. Perhaps don't need the napkins in there, but I've got them out because they're um, botanical ones and I don't want to leave them in the napkin folder because I forget that they're there. So I've got this script and music ones out and then the rest are like uh, botanicals. So I do want to, want to get those used, used up. Got four or five different botanical ones, but... Yeah, definitely need to start making uh, some progress <laughs> on this folder. So, in fact, that can go with my backend tags um, thing. Just seeing if there's anything else in here. I don't know why those. They won't go in my tea stained things. So yeah, that's that's actually cut it cut it down a bit. It can close again. So I think I'd started this folder before I started um, my hook at the side of my desk. So I've not got a lot else to <coughs> to say. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, the sun has come out today. It's quite a nice day, which, yeah, I feel quite energised. So, yeah, what is it about weather? <laughs> um, <coughs> oh, I've got another hook now. I've just ordered myself a load more clips because I have everything clipped up and then obviously they're all in different folders and, and stuff. Um, and then I haven't got any to to use so i'm going to put those in with my tea and coffee stained things need to do one more batch of um tea staining and then i think i've got enough for for a good while i tell you my <coughs> daughter had some clothes um from sheen which i don't know if it's a worldwide uh place but they all came in these ziploc bags like, how wonderful are those? So, I think I'm going to start using these when I'm actually doing, say, a one-off project. I can cut all the pieces up and put them together. Like, they're all different sizes. So, these are going to be a very handy. Um, so, I've just found this one. That's what reminded me. <clears throat> I'm going to put them all in there. So, they're underneath my desk and they keep falling falling out and getting in my way and if things get in my way I do tend to then just think oh I'm throwing it away so that's those tidy um what am I doing this week <clears throat> not a lot really apart from doing videos um I'm not actually making uh much I'm gonna come on tomorrow or Thursday and finish that um, last to book cover um, if you remember on Roxy's challenge it was three covers and I just managed to get two done so I will finish that off and I'm gonna come back next week and um, do a bit more on this so needs you know a hole there uh, this needs 
sticking down because I'm definitely going with that. I really like it. It's going to do some lace down here with some more postage stamps across. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think I'm going to put lace um, down the sides. But, um, yeah, what I've decided to do is, and I've done these too small, is some pocket pages. So at the front of the journal, there's going to be a pocket page and then in the middle of the journal. So I thought we could um, do that on one of the vlog days. That's probably more, more like it. Anyway, I shouldn't fold it. I need to do it with my scoreboard and stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll get that that done, and then I just need to start collecting some pages because, as you can see, this is really tall, um, and obviously kit pages just don't go in it. So I'm gonna get my music paper out and my dictionary paper because I'm thinking they'll be the right height. So there'll be some pages um and i have got a really tall notebook the only thing is it's got lines in it which you know that doesn't matter too much i mean this is bigger than it so i might end up tea staining some of this and just put in lined uh paper in it but uh julia said she'd got some a3 paper because i was thinking of buying uh, <coughs> a box of it um because i'm thinking you know i probably will need sometimes paper bigger than a4 but um <coughs> yeah so julie said she'd got some so she was gonna send send me some so this will probably take a while to to come complete but i thought if we get the cover totally finished get this front page in the middle page done um and perhaps make some ephemera for it ready um for, for when the pages are in so I'm going to do that on on the vlog um, and that's it still not finished the Tim Holtz <laughs> folios off they are next on my list um, <clears throat> but yeah I'm just trying to to get some energy in the bank and and stuff so that's me today all my trash is done everything's all nice and tidy so i'm going to now film uh this week's Roxy's challenge which is with three um window envelopes uh they're supposed to be well she used recycled ones but um i've tea stained all my recycled ones so i'm going to use new ones because it's a shame to totally cover over some envelopes that have been tea stained so i might as well use some new ones what i've I've got in my stash. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna organise myself. I think I might do that in in blues because um, I was thinking they could probably go in the folio what I've just showed you. Um, because yeah, I don't think I need to make it in botanicals because obviously we're doing the botanical series. So yeah, I think I'll do it in in the blues so that's me for today I'm just waffling now <laughs> so i'll see you later on in the week bye for now hope you're having a good week see you soon hi there i'm back again so it's now friday um i'm back to do this cover if you remember in one of roxy's uh challenges it was to cover some books some you know books that we'd used all the papers from um inside them so i got those two done i'm going to put these away now until um i've got time to do them um i shall wait until you know i've got more ephemera um in the botanical series so i can fill them up so i'm just going to stick this to the front because this was the one that we didn't get time to do um i'd put that bit of a spine in ready just to give it a bit more stability and these were the papers that i was going to use so they only want um a bit a bit off them so 
if I measure it here, I think that I'll turn it over so I won't cut in there and I'm going to put some lace on um, after so they only want they only want a smidgen of the the only thing is I don't know if I'll rip this off oh no I did think it would rip it all <coughs> so if I just bring it across a bit because I don't want it going into the the spine so yeah just um, a little bit so I'm hoping that I can get these both through at the same time I'm just gonna actually cut the big trimmers under my desk <clears throat> so I'm just gonna pull it out and do it um, down here just just for ease well it's not ease but <laughs> it saves me putting it on the table I only want it for this bit everyone's okay how are you doing this week honestly i can't believe you know we first week of i was gonna say january uh february over and done with <coughs> it's like where does time go it, it absolutely surprises me you know that we're not doing anything not going anywhere yeah, time just keeps going, doesn't it? It's like... So, the main thing is getting it up but here and then whatever's left there can obviously be um, covered with, with lace. I don't know if that's even straight. Oh, mind you, no, I don't think that's straight, to be honest. So if I just do it like, like so. I don't know if I've cut them a tad short. Only a smidgen. Yeah, it's a bit difficult because the actual thing isn't straight. But it just goes to show how you don't notice um these things so i don't know why we try and get things absolutely perfect because even things i mean obviously this book's old but even things that we buy from from shops and stuff what isn't handmade they're still not perfect so there is a little bit there but there's going to be pockets in these anyway so it really doesn't matter but i think that's going to go beautiful with that so I'm not going to ink them. I kind of, I mean I will ink things inside but I might not ink everything because I do want this quite fresh rather than grungy. Um, I mean that's what I'm saying now but <clears throat> who knows. <laughs> who knows. I always say I can always go round it after with the art glitter. So just get it straight on this side first. Slide that up a little bit. I prefer the top to you know to be the straightest because like I say the bottom can be covered. Um, with a pocket so that's that just got the brayer out just so 
So I think I might put lace pockets in, in this as well. But yeah, I'm not putting the lace on today because I want a piece here and then two pockets. And I know in the crochet lace, um, I haven't got enough for it to be all the same. So I shall... Um, make sure I get some before I pull these back out again. I don't think, I, well, I'm not going to put pockets in the small ones. Might put like a little tuck um, at the front and the back. Might do it in the Tim Holtz paper. I kind of feel like I need to buy another Tim Holtz patch because. Obviously, yeah, I've got all those pieces that I've made and I've got that book from uh, Die Cuts with a View um, to make, you know, to use as backing papers. But um, I haven't actually got any Tim Holtz paper left. Um, like just to whip up a pocket and things like that. So I do feel like I might get another one. Um just for that kind of things but i'm not sure if he does the wallflower in eight by eight um i don't think i've seen it the eight by eight ones seem to be those quite bright ones or themed ones like christmas and halloween and things like that because uh, i don't necessarily want a 12 by 12 but then saying that um like I was saying on Tuesday, um, I'm going to use the 12 by 12s as um, like anchor sheets in the journals, uh, that folio that I'm doing. So maybe I'll, I ought to get another 12 by 12, but yeah, I won't be making actual ephemera with it. Um, I think I just need a pad for that kind of thing for pockets and and anchor pages but I'm not in no rush to, to get one because um, I've got enough to do um, that folio that I've got on the go so and I won't be once I've finished those Tim Holtz file folders um, I won't be doing any more Tim Holtz for a little while. I want to do some Edith Olden. So perhaps when I go back to Tim Holtz, I shall, I shall get another one. Right, so that's fine. I'm going to say it will have, I want a quite thick piece of, of lace. So yeah, I think that, that goes lovely. You know, for a minute I thought, oh my goodness, I might have it upside down. Not like it would have mattered too much because obviously this will end up getting covered and I've not put this on as yet. So I'm going to put, gala, I'm going to, gala, I'm going to put this on with the flapper tuck or three in one beacon, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I want to get quite a bit on this because it is a heavy, heavy piece. Um, I think I want to try um, messing about with these frames again. Um, quite like the idea of it, <coughs> like being the cover of, of something, like a mini folio and that's the cover and then it like flips out kind of, kind of thing. So... I shall probably do something like that later on in the botanicals. But I would like some smaller frames. I've seen some, um, I think the 5x7 ones. Because obviously these ones are quite, quite big. So, <coughs> let me just stand up.
very close to mine. that's fine so that's that one done um so yeah, i've got a big um a4 uh box so i'm going to put those those in and shall come back to them another time so yeah i must remember that i want some i don't know if i want two or three inch i think three inch would be three or four inch yeah, so I want some crochet trim, probably four, four inch. Because that would give you nice on either side. But then again, if you've got that through the middle and then you've got your pockets. Hmm. I don't know why you'd. So yeah, I might put a thinner one through the middle. So probably a two inch. Okay, so I probably, I'm not going to remember that, am I? <laughs> not until I pull it out again and I'm like, oh yeah, I need some more. Right, so they can go away. So that's me for another week. Um, starting to feel a little bit more brighter, but yeah, still need to keep making sure that I'm I'm resting till I'm um totally well, not totally, but till I feel a little bit more with it right I'm off so thank you very much for, for joining me this week um, like I say next week we'll start um, doing bits on on the folio because um, I definitely won't have any trash next week I've, I've hardly bought anything this week so I won't have I'll probably only have one or two things to show on the Monday um, so yeah, we can probably have a, a couple of sessions doing doing that cover, and then I think once the cover's done properly and I've got the two um, pages done with the Tim Holtz, I'll probably put that in this box as well and come back to it uh, later because um, yeah, I want to get the Tim Holtz folios done, and I want to get on with it, doing some Edith Holden folios, and then once. Uh, they're done I'll, I'll have a little bit more time and I can probably then revisit these and we need to get some of that trash used don't we and do some some projects with with those right I'm going now so I shall speak to you very soon bye for now